Hello everyone! How lovely to see you here on my channel! This month I have sugar on the brain as both the recipe and songs are inspired by sweet delights. The recipe, traditional fudge, is a truly scrumptious recipe and uses only four ingredients and is the perfect gift for any occasion. To accompany it, songs about all things sweet from the Sherman Brothers. Before we get baking, let's make sure we have everything we need together. Toot! Sweets! Toot! Sweets! The candies you whistle, the whistles you eat! Toot! Sweets! Toot! Sweets! The eatable, tweetable treats! Toot! Sweets! Grease and line the tin with greaseproof paper. Use the tin opener to open the condensed milk and place all of the ingredients into the large saucepan. When you have measured the milk, rinse out the jug with water and refill with cold tap water and a few pieces of ice so it is ready for testing the fudge later. Being prepared is important in this recipe as it is tricky to stop stirring the fudge once it is boiling. Heat the pan on a low heat, stirring with a wooden spoon all the time, till the butter melts and the sugar dissolves. In every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. You find the fun and snap. The job's a game. And every task you undertake becomes a piece of cake. A lark, a spree, it's very clear to see. mixture, gently bring it to the boil and simmer for 10 to 15 minutes. Don't stop watching the pan or stirring for a moment as the bottom can easily catch around the sides. To prevent this, 
Scrape around the edges of the pan as well as in the center. Be careful when stirring as boiling sugar is incredibly hot and can spit out of the pan onto your arm. When it has been cooking for between 10 and 15 minutes, you can start to test whether it is done. To test whether the mixture is ready, use a teaspoon to get a bit of mixture out of the pan and drop into the measuring jug filled with cold water. If ready, the mix will form a small ball with a soft pliable texture so you can squeeze it between your finger and thumb. This is called soft ball stage. Remove the pan from the heat and beat with a wooden spoon till it becomes very thick and starts to set around the sides of the pan. This step requires 10 minutes of elbow grease, but it's worth it in the end. Pour the fudge into the prepared tin. Then work quickly to get as much of the mixture stuck to the side of the pan as you can with a table knife as it sets very fast. When it is set too hard to take any more out, Pour boiling water into the pan and it will take the hardened bits off the pan and make it easier to clean. Leave to cool for 2-3 to three hours or until set and ready to slice up. When cool, cut into inch sized squares and put into a tin or box to keep it airtight. A perfect gift for any occasion. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. And don't forget to subscribe for more tuneful baking content. I look forward to seeing you next month for my next ESB Monthly Bake. Hello everyone! How delightful to see you here on my channel! For the May Monthly Bake, today I'm going to bake Tea Time Sandwich Biscuits with homemade raspberry jam inspired by Springtime Romance.